This video is about how to save an output file in PSPP. So here you see the data file. Let's see, say you calculated some, th some things. Let's say we do an independent samples test. You see here, take for example intelligence and we compare gender, see if boys or girls are more intelligent. So there's a significant difference, okay did it so we go over an output you see here the difference in intelligence right as you can see we go in the first line we stay in the first line we assume the equality of variances this test is not significant so it means there's no difference in variances we can use the first line t t the t value is 0.77 degrees of freedom 165 and the two-tailed significance 0.44 so it's a higher than 0 0.05, it's not significant. We retain the null hypothesis. All right, now we don't want to save this. If you want to save this output, you go up here to File, Export, and then first step, you have to name it. So for example, exam one. Then here, you have to select a folder, a folder where you, where you want to save it. I have a folder called data. You could create another folder, or you could pick the desktop, save it on your desktop, wherever you want to save it. And then you have to pick the, the format. So here we decided to pick the format PDF. You could also pick you know, HTML or text. But for this purpose now, we choose PDF. And then click Save, and it's done. So three steps, name the file, pick a folder, and you have to do that in order to be able to save it. Pick a folder, pick a location. Third step, choose a format for the file, and then save. That's how to save a file in an output file in PSPP.